peace infinite waters diving deep once again we are out here in the heart of nature baby we got the birds another glorious day insomnia do you have insomnia your insomnia will stop if you are like this let's just Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. I get a lot of messages from people who can't sleep. They have insomnia and it's a pain in the butt. Insomnia emanates from a Latin word called insomnis. In meaning not. Somnus, sleep. A want of sleep. So you're not sleeping, are you? No, no. No, no, no. Goodness gracious. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> Let me share with you what helped me along my journey heal my insomnia. Because along my early journey, it was hard for me to get a good night's rest. I was twisting and turning and doing like that in bed. And I'm like, I just want to sleep. Can I please sleep in peace? And no, it just wasn't happening. Your insomnia will stop if you ask yourself one question, which is, how was my day today? And be brutally honest. You see, many times if you have had a really negative day a really rough day it's going to be hard for you to get that beauty sleep why because you are going to be overthinking and ruminating on how bad your day was oh my gosh it was terrible and you keep thinking about how bad it was and also if you are afraid to wake up you are also going to have a lot of insomnia if you don't like the life you are living, you're afraid to go to the job. You're afraid to go to college. You're not happy there for whatever reason. Of course, you're not going to go to sleep because you know what's in store for you. Slow motion this side. Now check this out. If you actually love the life you are living, you got something to look forward to, then your insomnia is slowly gonna start to disappear. It's gonna start to fade away because your day will be filled full of happy moments. And also you can't wait to jump out of bed because you know what's in store for you. You got a lot of fun things to do, right? Right, exactly. So create more happy moments during your day so you can sleep peacefully at night. Your insomnia will stop if you switch off your phone. Don't hide your phone. Oh, you just hid your phone, right? As soon as I said that. <laughs> Do you sleep with your phone? right next to you <laughs> you're in big trouble i was in big trouble because i realized i used to actually sometimes keep my phone on and then fall asleep and then i would hear these like beeps beep like message beeps right and then i was like i'm not sleeping well then i realized oh it's because i'm so addicted to my smartphone that i got it right next to me and that's why I'm not going to sleep because someone messages me at night, I check it and then I'm just on the smartphone all night and it just messes you up, right? So what, what do I do? Check this out. I get my smartphone and I chuck it into the other room. So it's nowhere to be seen. And when I wake up, I'm like, where did I throw it again? <laughs> so realize this, we are a generation who is using this technology, these smartphones in a such a, in such a powerful way, it's beautiful. But at the same time, it is responsible for giving a lot of people insomnia, <laughs> keeping them up late, 
because we are so addicted to it. So what I love to do is take a technology fast just before bed and that's how I sleep real easy. Now, there was a great psychologist called Viktor Frankl, Viktor E. Frankl. He came up with a therapy called logotherapy. Now, he came up with something called paradoxical intention and he helped a lot of people heal from insomnia. Now, how does this work? I actually tried this out because when I was in the lecture room many years ago, they were talking about this and I'm like, let me see if this actually works. So if you can't sleep for whatever reason, paradoxical intention is like this. You have to say this, I don't want to sleep. Huh? That's right. Try your hardest to not sleep. And then you're just, oh, just drifted off to sleep. When people actually really want to sleep, because if you have insomnia, you are like this in your mind. I really want to sleep. 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 You create so much anxiety that you can't sleep. <laughs> so when you reduce the anxiety from the desire to actually sleep, you actually fall asleep. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. So how I use paradoxical intention is to realize I'm so consumed with doing what I love every single day. I'm not like, oh, I need to sleep right now. No, I love what I'm doing that sometimes I'm just like, I just want to keep doing it. And then I just fall asleep, right? Your insomnia will stop. Seven day vegan challenge. A lot of people drinking a lot of guava juice. Share some with me. Full of vitamin C, by the way. If you eat less before bed. Eating a lot before bed is like sleeping on a bed of nails. And put your hand up if you are guilty of doing that. I hope I'm not the only one who eats sometimes before bed. I do it sometimes. I'm not a saint, right? Sometimes I'm like, gosh, I just want some vegan ice cream. <laughs> so, yes, I find out that when I'm really eating about six o'clock and then just juicing maybe at eight o'clock i sleep a lot better but when when i eat sometimes like 10 o'clock 11 o'clock it's hard for me to sleep just like that so a lot of people who have insomnia you have to actually check your eating routine if you are eating just before bed that's like sleeping on a bed of nails you want to eat less before bedtime right eat more about 12 o'clock, three o'clock in the afternoon, right? Eat less as the day is getting on. Your insomnia will stop. This is what's helped me along my journey. When you are in nature, when you are getting that natural sunlight, it is such a gorgeous day today, it's unbelievable. Can we take a moment of silence, please? Okay, that's good. Now, melatonin. Many people who have insomnia take melatonin supplements, okay? Melatonin is really responsible for everything. <laughs> your pineal gland produces melatonin. It governs your sleep and wake cycles. So I talked about tryptophan, the amino acid, Tryptophan produces serotonin. Now you're feeling better. The more serotonin you have, the more melatonin will be produced and melatonin will help you sleep better. Sunlight will give you more melatonin and then you'll be shining like the stars at night, baby. <laughs> Your insomnia will stop if you meditate before bed. So many times... We've been hurrying the whole day. We've been rushing around, going around in circles the whole day that when we actually arrive in bed, our heart is still beating really fast. 
and we're still in rush mode. Slow down. You just got to slow down. And what I love to do is just really, before bed, I have a little massage chair. I'm on that. And then I'm like listening to beautiful music before bed as well. 432 hertz, 528 hertz, classical music, reggae music, just to bossa nova, <laughs> just to really relax me, bring me into that alpha state and then to the delta state, brainwave state, and then to the theta. Look, when you really meditate before bed, you are calming your nerves and then it's a lot easier for you to fall asleep. But a lot of us, we're so overstimulated during our whole day that as soon as we arrive in bed, we're like, I just want to party. <laughs> we're like, DJ, where's the music, right? So learn that you got to rest before you actually rest. You got to be in the sleep mode before you actually fall asleep. Your insomnia will stop if you free your heart from hatred. A lot of people are overthinking. That's why they can't sleep at night, right? You're thinking about all the strawberries you should have given me, right? I know, don't worry about it. Many people are holding on to grudges. And I realized the moment I freed my heart from grudges, right, which is also a secret of happiness, I was able to actually get my beauty sleep. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. I'm a vegan, so I never have beef, right? <laughs> Look, if there is someone who has annoyed you, angered you, made you frustrated, and you're still holding on to a grudge, it's going to be hard for you to rest easy. You got to free your heart from all of the toxic garbage it picks up every single day. Cleanse your heart by freeing your heart, letting go and surrendering to the ebb and the flow of life. Don't worry, the universe will take care of them. Don't worry, the universe will take care of them. <laughs> your insomnia will stop if you are like this. If you have a purpose every single day, you got something to look forward to, your insomnia will stop. You see, for a long time, <clears throat> for a long time, I couldn't sleep properly. I was like twisting, turning. <laughs> Why? Because I had no purpose whatsoever. That might be you. <clears throat> it might be you. If you don't have a purpose, if you don't have any meaning in your life, a lot of the time, sometimes you're going to be up late thinking about, oh my days, what should I do with my life? The moment I realized I was here to help people, inspire people, was the moment I was able to actually sleep peacefully. A lot of us, we have too much energy. So you gotta ask yourself, what am I doing during the day to give some energy away? Like, am I helping people? Am I working on my dream? Am I working on my vision? Do I have beautiful leaves swaying around me and trying to kiss me and stuff, right? <laughs> And then you sleep better because you have something to look forward to. If you have nothing to look forward to, you don't want to go to sleep, right? So find your purpose, live your purpose and put a smile on that face. Your insomnia will stop once you realize every day is full of infinite possibilities. Within every day, there is a miracle waiting to happen. So I say, I say this, I say this, today will only be as good as I make it. Slow motion this side. A lot of us, we have we have a cloud over our head. The world can sometimes appear gloomy when things aren't going our way. That's why we can't go to sleep. We've got too many problems. It's time for you to start counting your blessings instead of your problems. It's a matter of focus. 
So, your insomnia will stop if you move into your natural biorhythm. What is my natural biorhythm? Everybody sleeps at a different time. Like me, I sleep sometimes at 10 o'clock, sometimes at 12 o'clock. It depends, but I'm always in tune with my natural biorhythm. You got to sleep according to the season. Sometimes in the summer, I sleep a lot later. In the winter, I sleep a lot earlier, but I always sleep well because I love the life I live. Your insomnia will stop when you realize that any problem you are going through won't stop by you thinking about it. It stops when you let go. I said, the moment I let go, abundance came to me. And just like how paradoxical intention works for insomnia, the moment you free yourself from the desire to need to want to sleep, then you will naturally fall asleep and you'll just say, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello there? Now you better sleep good today. Let me know how you sleep. Have a beautiful day, deep divers. We're out here in the heart of nature. Just woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby, getting high infinite waters diving deep once again stay well stay healthy peace you <laughs>